everybody, welcome back to Art La Carte. And in today's episode of Digital Drawing 101, we're going to be talking about probably the most important tool in drawing digitally, and that is layers. Again, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos in this series, I definitely would recommend you going back through and checking those out. I'll have a playlist of that in the description box below. And when I'm talking about digital drawing, I'm talking about drawing on the computer, not necessarily like an iPad or an iPhone or any kind of handheld device. You're going to find uh, layers in a lot of different programs, whether it's uh, Photoshop or even some of the free programs out there, and a lot of them now have layers. So let me kind of explain what a layer is and why it's so important. If you look over here to the side of the panel, and again, this kind of changed depending on the program, but you're going to find a part that's going to show you your layers. On the layer window, you're going to find usually a place that will allow you to view a layer or you can make that layer invisible. But down towards the bottom, there's going to be a couple different features, and one of them is to add a new layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click the add a layer feature here, and what it's going to do is going to pop up another little box. You see there's one box here. Think of the first box as your actual piece of paper like that you're drawing on. And each layer is kind of like, think of it as a invisible piece of paper or see-through piece of paper on top of that. The layer below this is pure white, like a white piece of paper, but the layer that I'm working on is transparent, see-through. I'm going to use just a colored pencil tool to go ahead and draw a quick sketch here. As long as I have this layer selected, I can erase the marks created on this layer. So again, pretty simple to putting like pencil to paper and go ahead and erasing the pencil marks. But now let's go ahead and add another layer on top of that and draw something on top of our first layer. I'm going to draw some blue lines on my third layer so you can kind of see the difference. This might be helpful if I'm trying to refine my lines or kind of pinpoint my sketch a little bit, clean it up, but I still want to see the original sketch underneath it. But the nice thing is, is because it's on a completely different layer, I can go back and erase the lines that are on that layer and it doesn't affect any other layer. So you'll see I'll erase the blue lines, but the red lines and the white paper are not affected. So this is a really simple but important tool that you need to understand and, and make use of as you're drawing digitally. So to help illustrate this, let me show you a picture that I'm working on, which is a full colorization of my color page of the Red Queen. So even though you can see that this picture is not completed, you will see the immense amount of layers that I have for this picture. And like each little element is on a different layer. I have the flat coloring on a different layer, the background on a different layer, and then all the different shading and shadowing on different layers. I can click those on and off. I can rearrange them. I can file them into folders, and I'll be getting into more detail on these in later episodes. But you're going to find the more that you use the layer feature, the easier it's going to make your digital art. Layers and the edit undo are probably the two biggest advantages of using digital art versus just traditional art. Well, hopefully if you've never used layers before, you found this video helpful and kind of understand now a little bit more about how digital artists create such intricate pieces. You can go hyper layer and use hundreds of layers in your pictures or just one or two layers. Sometimes when I'm working on a piece, I'll have one layer for the sketch, one layer for the ink in, and one layer for the color. Um, and so I keep it really simple. With pieces like this, I will have obviously a ton of layers with. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video so you don't miss out on any future videos. So until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!